I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCar123.com. This video is about building sections of our tunnel that will have a pyramid pod car going through it, and this is a scale model. We start out with a bottom flat track, and I'm placing an insert in here that will get removed, but the insert is used to put side rails on the car track like this. These are pre-cut out, of course, and here's what we're doing is we're putting these side rails on, and then we pull out the insert after it's nailed together, and then we come up with a track similar to this one right here. This is a finished track. You can see we have three layers on the bottom, two rails of tracking, what this does is it keeps our dream car inside of the track system and there'll be side wheels on the real dream car. We're also going to show you how we're building the individual sections. We've already pre-constructed these sections using mylar tape and clear tape. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these up here real quick. One. And this, this is the side rail that the car will roll against. I'm going to set them up real quick and then I'm going to nail them together here. Two. And three. This is around a ten foot long section. I'm going to put the insert in. This is called the spacer. And then I'm going to put the other rail on it. I'll start out on this end and show you how this goes together real quickly. Okay. I'm going to line it up and center it. So I'm going to have this when I'm done. Very simple. Of course, everybody, I'm a master carpenter, builder, construction. Here's my ears. What this is doing is it's spacing my car. So right now I'm just going to pull this section out. Of course, that's how we make the straight tracks. Now I'd like to show you how we make the curved tracks on this end. Of course, it's pretty set up so I don't have any downtime when we're making this video here. Pretty much the same thing. You see here are my two rails and the car will ride in between here. And the difference is these are cut slotted because I'm making a curve track. Pretty much very simple. Overlapping of course.
here is so it looks like it's made out of steel. up these seams. Let me show you how I take one of them up. Just to get rid of the air gap. Right there. Very simple. Something like this. And I'd like to show you how we actually make these little sections here. Rebuilding all of the tunnel sections and pretty much adding clear tape to these to simulate glass. This of course we've got a lot of sections to be building in the next couple of days here. But if you keep up with Keep up with us. You'll see us build this entire oval. We're building an oval first, and then we're hoping to build a few more. Sections. We're hoping to display this publicly, the entire system. I'd like to put tape on both sides because it's inside the tunnel. It'll pick up dust and it'll start getting dirty right away. This, this is pretty strong tape. It should be able to handle about 150 pounds of air pressure from the inside of our and uh, one more piece, and I got this thing built. Pretty much now, all I have to do is press two tapes together like this, make it very strong, and then basically try to crease them, like this, and this one right here is the curved track one, it doesn't have a bottom, so we slice these here, I'll show you how we're going to get them to go around the corner. Like that. Okay, so pretty much what they do is they bend like that. And I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCar123.com, and please try to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to keep watching what we're doing. We'll be building this tunnel in the next week or two. Thank you very much. Bye.